folks, Joe's me on here. Um, want to give you an update on uh, the buoy build part two. Buoy build is coming really, really super nice. I'm really pleased with it. Um, I'm at a little bit of a standstill right now, so I've taken on a little side project to keep me busy. Um, but I'll show you where I'm at with the buoy now. Uh, I've got I've got the handle all shaped out. The scales are all shaped, and I'm just waiting on the uh, mosaic pins. Today is Thursday, and I won't have them until Saturday. Hopefully, maybe they'll come tomorrow, but probably Saturday. So I really can't do anything until I get those pins and I get them set and I get the scales glued, everything glued, and then I'll I'll go about starting my finish sanding and my my polishing. So, but check it out. Here's where we're at. I put the black liners in there, as you can see, and these pins here are just just stuck in there just to hold it in place, but yeah, it's got a really super nice shape to it. Just got done this morning um, taking, the, taking the brass guard down to 600 uh, grit sandpaper, and then I polished it with, uh, with the green jeweler's rouge so I'm really super happy about the way this is coming out man what a feel it's gonna be a real beauty once those mosaic pins are in there huh and this is polished to a glass finish I can't wait it's killing me I wish I had the pins right now but I guess uh, you know all good things and all good times so I'll just have to be patient and um, we'll get that done but in the meantime what I wanted to show you guys is I, uh, I, when I went up and visited my buddy, the knife maker there, Mike Rivet, uh, he had given me a couple of these little tiny Skinner blanks, and they're by a company called IRT, and they're made in the U.S. That's what they look like. They're just little Skinners, you know. So they're just you know little blanks. So I took one and. Uh, I threw a bunch of a uh, couple of hunks of deer antler on there. I cut the deer antler out like this, and I just lay them, lay them on the knife. And, and for this little build, I'm using a a uh, five thirty seconds brass tube. So the tubes just slide right through the holes like that, and uh, I've got got the other side, other scale, cut here, and that'll go on here, and of course I'll put the other two pins in, and I'll glue it up, and I'll clamp it, and then I'll start hogging off all that antler, and this is what I came down, at. This, is, this is what it looks like once I start sanding all that antler away. See all that, there's a lot of material on there, and that material it's got to come off so that it looks like this. Check this out. You want to see something sweet? Look at that. That antler's polished just like glass. Isn't that a beauty little Skinner? Man, I'm telling you. I absolutely love it. So this is my little project in the meantime was building this. And I'm going to turn this into a neck knife. This will be a little necker. And uh, I'll be making a sheath for it. So I guess this is going to be part of the part of the booty build. These little these little Skinners too. I'll be showing you the progress I make along the way with those. But anyhow, just wanted to give you folks an update, let you know what was going on, let you know where, where I was at with the Bowie knife. Um, I've got the, the the handles sanded now down to about a hundred grit, so or one twenty. I'm at 120 right now. What I will do is I will take this to about 600. And then I'll use the white rouge and my felt belt for my 1x30. And when, when this is done, it's going to be like glass. Just like that. That is going to look unbelievable with those mosaic pins. Wait till you see how beautiful they are. 
So, I'm starting to think, since I'm using the black liners, and I'm going to be using a black and brass mosaic pin, I think I'm going to go with, uh, with the old uh, midnight black for the leather sheath. I think I'm going to dye it that midnight black, which is actually a really super, super deep purple. It kind of looks like black, but there's little highlights of almost like an eggplant color. So I think that would be really nice on this. Um, I don't know, guys. Let me know what you think. This is how the buoy's coming along. There's going to be a little bit of a dead spot, like I said, in the process for this. It's Thursday. I'm not going to have the mosaic pins till Saturday, but I will be right back on this build. So, just wanted to let you guys know where I'm at, and uh, I'm going to be doing some leather work. I'll be videoing that as far as the sheaths for this, these little, these little necker skinners. They're just dynamite. I'm digging it. What a cool little knife. You know, it's funny, I mentioned in part one that maybe it's Hollywood. I don't know what it is with us guys and gals, but something about big knives. We like big knives. You know, something cool about it. But there's also something really cool about little knives. And that's a little knife. So, yeah, guys, that's what I'm up to. And uh, keep your eye out because I'm going to be having more, uh, more videos on the way. I hope you guys are enjoying this. Leave a comment, let me know what you think, and I'll talk to you soon.